So I started Gareth Owen Sound about 10 years ago uh, when I left working for Orbital Sound. And uh, here we are today sitting in the London Palladium and I'm here today to talk about Wind in the Willows and Bat Out of Hell and 42nd Street, which are three of the biggest shows in London, all of which are using Allen and Heath products for their monitoring system for the orchestra pits. So here we are in the London Palladium pit for Wind in the Willows. Because it's an orchestral show, the monitoring requirements can be quite different from rock and roll shows. Every musician does have an ME1, but they are configured very differently depending on the musician or the chair. With the ME1 system, we can configure each ME1 to have a different set of mixes as needed by the individual musician. One of the important things with an orchestral show is that the different sections keep a strict balance between themselves. Therefore, sometimes taking away control to adjust their microphone with respect to others in their section is important. So, for example, on the reed section, they have a limited number of mixes. With our bass player, our guitarist and our remote drummer, they need a finer control over what they can hear, as what they can hear acoustically is very different. So because the orchestra for this show is so big, we can't actually fit the drums in the orchestra pit. So here we've built a shed, and this is where our drummer lives. Uh, as you can see, it's more than just a uh, standard drum setup. Now, because the drummer is so isolated here, he's completely separated from the rest of the orchestra, his ability to hear and see the conductor and the show is quite important. Hence, we have cameras and monitors that allow him to see the stage and also to see the conductor. But more importantly, we also have headphone monitoring system, which is again the ME1. He literally has every one of the 40 stems into the, into the mixer loaded and he can do a really detailed mix of exactly what he needs to hear. Uh, this is our substage radio monitoring position and substage amplifier world and it also includes the monitor position over here which is a dual redundant Allen & Heath DM64 system with expansion rack and we're just using a old silent PC running the software and a touchscreen uh, as you'll see over here. Even though we don't have a surface, it's very important that we can access things very quickly, especially during production period. We are running the director software on a local touchscreen computer in the substage, and we have a local ME1 to us so that we can always hear what the musicians are hearing. One of the many features that were very quick to use was the touchscreen EQ and the ability to add reverbs very quickly to things like the reeds and the acoustic guitars, getting the musicians as comfortable as quickly as possible allowing front of house to get the fine balance work done in the very short calls that we get within theatre. Yes, yeah, so we've got two guitarists um, in the pit here on Battle of Hell. Um, two chairs each who play um, two or three different guitars throughout the show. And the great thing about the ME1 is what we can do is instead of taking um, three or four different sideboard buttons for each of the individual guitars, uh, we're able to group um, their relevant instruments to to one control as a group, um, which means so basically guitar one chair has basically a guitar one uh, guitar one page which they can then access and then get get to their acoustic setup, the steels um, and the nylon, and then overall control the overall level uh, and tone for for all of their guitars together. Alan here's DM64 uh, in here being fed. Uh, from an analog split on the back from our, from our front of house console. Um, there's also some MADI inputs that also uh, provide us all the peripheral links for our front of house console, vocal mixes, uh, sound effects, things like that. And I've configured this with the first two banks as being input layers um, for e ease of viewing and then we're using 40 aux outputs um, feeding directly to the, uh, to the ME1s. So here at 42nd Street, our monitor desk is located underneath the stage in our secret underground bunker. Uh, along with all of the comms, Q-Lite, CCTV, quite a lot of the amplifiers and the stage racks for the front of house mixing desk. Here we have our monitor desk, very similar setup to Wind in the Willows and Bat Out of Hell. Again, we have DM64 driving an ME1 system with Genlite monitors and we're using the director software, again running from a touch screen, uh, running on a PC. So looking, um, looking at the IP8 controller um, that the musical director is using upstairs, he's only using one bank of faders uh, and he has a generic percussion, uh, percussion mix, a generic mix of all the reed players, the brass players, guitars, vocals. Um, this show has a significant amount of microphones for uh, picking up the tap dancing. Uh, he also has the option to, uh, to listen to those and keep the dancers in time with the orchestra. 
Here we are at the drum position at 42nd Street. The advantage of using the Allen & Heath system over previous systems that we've had is the fact that we can now use more than just 16 mono inputs. Uh, we now have the capability of stacking multiple inputs, so he has groups of reeds and groups of trumpets, groups of trombones, rather than the individual inputs that we've got, which has been a real advantage on 42nd Street for us. The conductor is currently using an IP8 at his position which is then feeding his pair of Genelex there. Uh, this is so he hears everything and doesn't need to wear a pair of headphones, so he can hear what's going on from front of the house, he can hear what's going on on the stage, and he can hear his band. The order of this using this rather than one of the other systems is he's able to control the faders, use it very simply, really easy visual representation of what he needs. This is this is the future. Three of the biggest musicals in London running on DM64 ME1 systems and two of the biggest musicals on Broadway uh, running on similar systems. Uh, we have a huge musical for Disney called Hunchback of Notre Dame running out in Germany, running full DM64 ME1 systems and we genuinely couldn't be happier. It's, it's, it's turned out to be a really great choice.